How we doing guys? Look what we got here. Mud flap hangers, mud flaps, lights, and this. You know what? I forgot about the dual revolution wire. And I don't have any here, so I'm gonna have to go buy some and do some wiring. So I'll just continue this video later or tomorrow. Cheat. So I went ahead and got the ones that actually fit with the holes. E. E. I'll probably put them in. I gotta do the wiring because I got these the regular lights and. I need the ones for the dual revolution lights, which are here. But I need to connect them all together and then these all together because there's going to be six, three on each side. So I'm going to weld them. I got more wire somewhere. <laughs> and these are probably not going to need them. So I'm going to do that right now. So the better way to do it is to buy the three-way connectors just connect these put um, butt connectors the ones with the welding and then just plug it into this one and this one and and all professional but I don't have them so I'm just gonna weld them weld them to here the middle of this one and this one to this one and then this one to the ones going out so um, what I do is that this, I make like a hole in the middle, like an oval, and then I put this cable through, and, and I do that. Then I weld it, and then, then I put electrical tape. So I'm going to do that to all right now. I don't have my recording glasses, so I'll record what I can. So they're welded. Those are my welds. They're not the best ones. I'm new at this, so... <laughs> So it's gonna come out through that hole, this one through this one, and this one through this one. I'm gonna put tape on them, and then I'm gonna do these with the butt connectors. So they're done. Alright, so the harnesses are ready. The one with the green is for the dual revolution. And these are for the regular stop and turn light. So put them all in here. Keep them safe from the elements. Now I'm just putting these on with the bolts, the washer, and the nut. And you just put the headlight in and it gets, it's pretty stuck there. Nobody can take it out. Nobody can steal it. I don't even know how to take it off if I need to. So, <laughs> And basically just going to repeat the same process for the, the other side. I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek. Okay, so I'm done doing the connections. I just gotta take this thing off and uh, forgive my mess, I'll clean that up. <laughs> so these are the mud flaps, but I still gotta make the holes because I cut two and a half inch from the top and then from the bottom because they were too, too long. And they are at the perfect size, but I did not bring my drill. I'll show you how it looks after I hang these mud flaps. Okay, guys, so I just finished up the rear end. Ah, can't see. Well, you know what? Instead of ending the video right now, I'll just show it to you guys tomorrow when there's more sunlight so you guys can take a better look. All right, well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later. Hey guys, so it's the next morning. Let me show you guys how it looks. Uh, I think it looks nice. I still got the, I have the mud flat weights, I just didn't put them on, I lost the screws, I'm gonna look for them and then I'll put them on, but that's what we got. Let's go! Check it out. 
you like them, let me know. If you don't like them, let me know too. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's it for today. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. <laughs>